bilan birgalikda Mirzo Ulug'bek nomidagi O'zbekiston Milliy universiteti Xorijiy filologiya fakulteti ingliz filologiyasi kafedrasi o'qituvchisi Ismoilova Nurxon Xamjonovna. Bugun sizlar bilan birgalikda ikkinchi bosqich talabalar uchun maxsus asosiy o'rganilayotgan chet tili matbuot tili mondilidan fakultet gazetasini yaratish. Creating a faculty newspaper mavzusida video dars olib boramiz. Video darsimiz ingliz tilida bo'lganligi uchun keling uni ingliz tilida davom ettirsak. I am a teacher of the National University of Uzbekistan. My full name is Ismail Nurxon Xamjonovna. I would like to begin my video lesson with a quote. A person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. Okay, so let's begin our lesson. What is newspaper? I would like to ask several questions considering this topic. What do we think of when we hear of newspapers? What kind of things do we find in newspapers? What are generally on the cover of newspapers? Newspapers generally try to do what? How do newspapers sell? Now, I would like to illustrate these questions in my video lesson. Journalism or mass media focuses on delivering the facts. Unless you're writing a tabloid or gossip newspaper, you should keep your opinion and bite it. Key questions they answer. Who was involved? When did it happen? What happened? Why did it happen? Who does this affect? What were the results of the event? Was the event expected? Journalists use facts and descriptive details to tell the story. It's not opinion-based. But there are four core elements that must appear in every news story. They are neatly summed up by the acronym NICE. News, Impact, Context, Emotion. News. Be sure to include strict, strictly relevant and definite data. This consists of the who, what, when, where, how, and why of the story as we talk it. Clearly indicate the meaning of the news and who may be affected it. Why should readers care about this story? Provide a relevant background and related information pertaining to the news and impact. How does this story fit in the bigger picture? Emotion. Rely the emotional elements that show the human side of the story. This further solidifies the impact and context of the story, helping readers to understand and relate to it. This means you have to keep it focused. Including those elements is vital in the equation of tight, meaningful story that will engage your readers' attention and leave them without the true understanding of the story object. Front page news. What makes the front page news? As we, uh, as we know that it includes the feature stories, announcements, advice columns, obituary, classifieds, comic strip, letter to the editor, or horoscope. This example. Then structure. We have to pay attention to the structure. But um, before, um, before giving the news into the structure or into the um, body and parts, you have to know about hard news and soft news. What is the difference between them? Hard news focuses on the hard facts, emphasizing the news and impact aspects of the story and generally don't play in context and emotion. A good hard news story deals in a probable facts and direct quotes. Soft news is not less important or less rigorous than hard news. Um, we know soft news as a local news or something like this, and it just focuses more than context and emotional aspects of the story, de-emphasizing news and in fact. Obviously, 
to be a news story at all, even the softest story must have some facts. That's why it must be structured. So at first you have to give a headline. Headline just summarizes the whole story and it must catch um, readers' attention. Then lead sentence. So leads, sometimes spelled lead, is simply the first part of the news story. Generally, it's limited to the first sentence. In news writing, everything depends on the lead. Readers may be patient when they sit down to read a book, but when they open newspapers or click on their favorite blogs, they expect to be informed fast. Then, so leads must be uh, continued who, what, when, where, and why. Every good lead has something in common. It tells the reader what the story is, why it is interesting, and why it's important. The next one is body paragraph. Body paragraph uh, must elaborate with more details, quotes, and background to explain the story in full. Then, don't forget about tale. Tale concludes with the least important fact, often a quote. The next one is editorials and opinion pieces. Editorials persuade the reader to believe something in a specific way. The lead sentence will, um, will still tell the reader the basic facts, but the body of the article uses facts, statistics even, and quotes in a way that tries to make an argument. This type of article can be serious, informative, and uh, inflammatory or humorous. If you were uh, to write an editorial or opinion piece about something in the play, you might write a piece for and against a erecting statue for a Romeo and Juliet, maybe. Then write a piece for um, piece for and against convicting Friar Lawrence or the death of Romeo and Juliet. Or something else like this. Then feature story on the topic. Feature story explores the topic in depth, often covering the history of the topic uh, with, um, with the good explanations to give the reader some context. The article will still use lead to help the reader know the basic facts. But the body of it will help the reader understand the reason that the information is important by making the topic of the story clear. This is different from a basic news report, which is written as if the reader already knows why the information is important, for example, because it's news. These articles are meant to be thought-provoking. If you were to write a subject matter feature article about something in the play, you might detail the history of feuding families, explore the history of marriage, for example, and tell about the impact of the Balbonic plague, for example. Next one, feature story on person. When you are writing a feature story about the as a person, you have to uh, be more focused. Feature article about a person focuses on a specific quality or experience that, that person has had, and this person's behavior, achievements, and uh, their background, um, life, and experiences. It must be included in this story. The late for feature article will include basic facts, but is often does so in more poetic or catchy way than a basic news stories and the point is to connect readers to the humanity of the person being profiled. These types of feature stories are sometimes called human interest stories. If you were to write a feature article about something from the play, you might tell the story of how Romeo and Juliet met, um, as a way to show the tragedy of their deaths, uh, their history, and their uh, fights between their families, and like this. And you have to include also Romeo and Juliet, and background information about Romeo and Juliet, their love and uh, life. 
next one expectations um your news must as a rule good news writing is good school newspaper writing or as a rule good news writing is the best uh, newspaper writing people love to read about themselves it's a journalistic uh, rule interview your friends about their favorite subject challenge teachers to answer questions about one and other disciplines if it gets people's names in the paper it's it's um, granted to bring in more readers the best news comes from good reporting be on the scene for sporting events concerts plays and other big events in your faculty report on exciting details the audience may have missed what is happening in your faculty faculty of foreign philology english department and department of english philology then think it may seem simplistic it's not too many people or students think think that um collecting information about the faculty and um interviewing interviewing the students and the, uh teachers but it's not so easy you have to ha- work hard on it every news outlet needs a good opinion section that takes on current events written news is uh, is its own prose style news stories shouldn't be novels or academic reports they should be concise and must be understandable engaging statements of fact and opinion also uh, and expectations about the f- uh, front page for newspaper uh, during your studies choose a day of event sunday thursday date and newspaper title and title your newspaper must have a minimum two articles select two of editorials and opinion features about the topic of person and it must include at least for 240 words for each article each with its own headline own lead and body and tail that clearly explain the issue include pictures headlines and authentic look also you have to include fun features puns or jokes grammar and creativity are important in newspapers for example here is given verona herald you can make up like this and you can include also um horoscopes in your uh, article so uh and don't forget then when you are uh, when you are reporting a news don't include more than three numbers in a sentence in one sentence don't put more than three prepositional pre- phrases in one sentence the this should be under 25 words and contain one idea don't use too many commas follow the basic subject verb object structure lean toward shorter sentences and paragraphs that get straight to the point and also you have to use active voice this helps to strengthen the writing and make it easier to understand don't use complicated words reduce them uh, to something simpler or thank you for your kind attention and do not forget that i'm here to help you if you have any questions do not hesitate to contact me you can find me at nurhan.ismailova.94 at gmail.com Thank you for your attention. Eddaboringiz uchun rahmat.